Hello guys, this is BG and today we'll be talking about five beginner tips to help your character start it on ESO online. ESO. First, you have to know how to use a way shrine. A way shrine is a teleporter for you to use to get to places. You could only wait you, you could only teleport to way shrines that you have discovered like that. But if you don't if you're not near a way shrine and you're trying to get to a way shrine, it will cost money to do it like this. It costs 99 gold for me to travel to the nearest way shrine, and the the price depends on your level. Number two, skills. You want to be a jack of all trades in different categories of skills because. During high levels, it will help you a lot to change up your playstyle for different bosses. And if you want to just change it up to become a different kind of character, then you want to have good, high enough skills for you to support your character in high level bosses and high level PvPs. So that's why you want to be a jack of all trades to equip different armors at the same time. Number three. Horses. Horses will help you a lot because if you want to travel to a different kind of way shrine and the way shrine's far or a quest, you want a horse so you will be faster than walking all day in this huge open world game. There are currently four horses available. You can buy horses at the stable, but the top two horse I won't recommend you buying because there's no need for it. And Midnight Speed is a great horse because if you're just upgrading speed, it will, it will be faster than every horse by 40% at the maximum speed. But I would just rather choose the 10k horse because you don't need a horse for anything else but traveling. And a horse... A 10k horse will be good for me while you have to pay 32k more to buy a different kind of horse that does nothing but just have some better advanced uh, skills. Number 4, quest. You want to do as many quests as you can from the beginning of the game because the most XP you will get from this game all belongs to the quest and you can get most of your go from it. Also, it could repair your different armor for you because you need gold for it and you could do quests with your friends too. Number 5. Blacksmithing and Woodworking. Woodworking, you create staffs, shields with it and how do you do it? You need to deconstruct different kind of materials to earn your XP to, get, to do better kind of equipment. And blacksmithing is basically the same. You have to deconstruct to get better equipment, and also you'll get different materials with it once you deconstruct some equipment. And that's about it, guys. Thank you for watching, and enjoy your day.